Well, we, we were right in the middle of the path. Um, there's homes all around us destroyed. The trees are destroyed. Um, you know, there's, there's probably five houses right here I'm looking at that are completely unlivable. In the middle of them is a rebuilt house. It lost some shingles, uh, fences, but otherwise the people are living in the house. Uh, if you look behind me, there's power crews turning on power right now um, to homes that survived. The homes that didn't survive, they're marked with a big X and they're not gonna have power and, and all they really need is a bulldozer. The, the important thing with rebuild is not that you don't get any damage. You may lose some shingles, you may lose some gutter, but we, what we wanna do is make sure people are in their homes. As we walk this neighborhood and we go from rebuild house after rebuild house, the people are still in their homes. They're getting their power on. They're gonna be cooking dinner tonight and their neighbors are gonna be digging through looking for stuff, you know, what they can salvage. You know, tornadoes, we're not designing these structures to survive tornadoes, but we are proud to see what they've done in this storm and how the people, um, all of the rebuilt houses we visited, the people are still living in them. Most of them have no damage or minor damage. Maybe they need some shingles. From what I've heard, we haven't had an F2 or F3 tornado in 46 years. In two weeks, Pensacola, or Scambia County has gotten two of them. Uh, in those uh, two F3 tornadoes, Rebuild has had homes directly in the middle of the tornado. I mean, they were hit by the funnel. Uh, we've had scores of uh, homes that were within the damage path and to our knowledge, and we've been out walking the streets, calling people, everybody is still in those homes. Uh, there's no structural damage to the homes. Some of them lost some shingles, some of them lost fences and trees, but the people are still in the home. Even though Rebuild doesn't design for tornadoes, we do have tornadoes every now and then uh, here. And the hardening features we do uh, matter, and we're gonna show you how they matter. Uh, house after house uh, people are living in when their neighbors' houses um, are destroyed. They're in shelters, they're with friends and family. We design our homes to withstand hurricane winds, but there's a lot of um, side benefits uh, also for going through our program. If you look, the tornado came right through here. And right here, hit this house, get to this house, and the path just continues straight down. You look on down the neighborhood where it's going. This house here with the blue tarp is actually a rebuilt house. The guy is living in it. Uh, he's got shingle damage. Um, he's put up stuff over his windows as a precaution. Fences are down, but otherwise it's completely livable. The house next to it's completely destroyed, and obviously this house is completely destroyed. Everybody that went through the rebuild program in these two neighborhoods that were impacted with storm are able to stay in their homes. Most of them are getting their power turned on right now and um, are, are, are back in living in them. They, have, they never had to leave. We had uh, rebuild Northwest Florida uh, do their uh, inspection on this house over three years ago. And of course, I really feel that uh, the house, uh, we survived in there, that we were in the hallway and the roof didn't didn't leave or anything and my understanding that all that roof these soffits were taken off and I saw them do it and strapped it down and then coated the inside and uh, my understanding that coating of foam inside was so that uh, the water uh, if, if you did have shingles come off it didn't go inside and last time that's what we took about forty thousand dollars worth of uh, damage on Ivan because it stripped off the shingles and the water went in there and dropped the ceilings in here and, and garage and in the hallway and this time uh, no water came in the house uh, and nothing the roof didn't come off we heard the door a couple of times just boom boom you know like it was gonna come in and uh, we were just inside praying telling each other we loved each other and came on through this thing this house over here is a rebuild house uh, we put an impact garage door on it, hurricane clips, uh, foam in the attic, we braced the gables, um, and it survived really well. The, the house on this side, 20 feet away, um, similar type construction, similar uh, period built. You, as you can see, it's a complete loss. Uh, in my mind, the garage door blew in, uh, pressurized the garage, and the roof blew off. If we hadn't had rebuild Northwest Florida, I might not even be standing here talking to you. 
this is one of the things that helped save the house with the impact garage door. Uh, the, 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 the struts and the way it's attached to the house are such that it's resistant to blowing in, it's resistant to hitting impact. Homeowner told me it took a beating. The, ha the car right in front of the garage is smashed. Uh, debris hit it, but the garage door never gave in. And if you can keep the garage door from blowing in, you keep the pressure out of the house and you keep, um, helps keep the roof on. Um, and we've seen a lot of houses today with garage doors blown in and the rest of the house destroyed, the roof off, everything else. And we're going to look at one next door that, you know, it doesn't have a garage door and, and the roof above it's blown in. Yeah, if you, look at, if you look at the garage on this house, it obviously failed. It doesn't have any uh, hurricane supports. It's not impact rated. It failed, pressurized the garage, and then the roof came off because there's no clips on it. This is a rebuild house. This is a rebuild house. And this one right here beside it is. And if you look across the street, there's two homes that are completely destroyed. They're not rebuild homes. We've seen this a lot in this neighborhood. If you look over my shoulder, you'll see that the, the home's garage door is pushed in. It's the garage that primarily failed first, opened up the structure, and pulled the roof off. As you look at this home, when you look across the top plate of the home, you can see there's no hurricane clips on the home. Nothing to hold the trusses down to that top plate, and uh, just came right off. One of the things that we do is um, we reinforce the gable ends, and you can see on this house behind me, there was no reinforcing at all. The house survived okay. Um, had it gone a little bit stronger here, a little bit longer, it probably would have blown this gable in, and you can see it almost did already. Uh, this is a home that rebuilt, retrofitted a few years ago, and it took a direct hit. Um, yeah, it's got some shingle damage, otherwise it's completely livable. If you noticed, uh, we installed an impact garage door on this home, and it took a sizable impact. That was probably a tree. Um, you know, you can't say for certain what would have happened if that garage door gave way, but we've seen a lot of homes that were completely destroyed because the garage failed. But there's no doubt in my mind between the good Lord and rebuild Northwest Florida, and I believe he led me to do that. <laughs> you know, I'm here today, and my wife is too.